pizza. Out of this dome? Out of this dome. So Eric lives upstairs, upstairs from the bakery. We're gonna work our way up around the back fire escape to his kitchen. He's gonna make us a pizza. He promises it's as good as we're gonna get in any pizzeria. Eric just wrote a book with Chad all about the, the breads of tartine or? Tartine bread. Mm -hmm. Tartine bread. So, and you tested them in here? We tested them in here, yeah. The test this is oven. the oven. This is the test oven. I had a pizza geek come over four months ago, and he temped the oven at like 650 or something like that. Oh, really? You could get that oven that hot. So, as we've said before, one of the tricks of great pizza is the hotter the oven, the better the dough. And this is the same dough that was used to make that beautiful country French loaf that we just ripped into downstairs. As you can see it's a little bit on the sticky side. It's going to stick my fingers. So you put a little oh, yeah, flour yeah. in there. A little bit of cornmeal on the on the peel. You like the cornmeal underneath? Like, could it be flour or semolina or you anything? You can do whatever you want. All right. About how much does that dough weigh right now? Did probably, you weigh it or you just cut off a piece? We just cut off a piece. It probably weighs like 300 grams, 400 grams. It's, it's, it's a big piece of dough. Maybe about 12 ounces or so of dough. Okay. It's going to make a good size pizza. It's going to make a good size pizza. We're going with the, kind of the, what the Italians may call it, caprese style uh, top with uh, whole tomatoes rather than tomato sauce. Right. When these get hot, are they going to just kind of burst? They're going to pop. I'm going to put the basil in after, kind of near the last meal. So we've got, okay, you've got your tomatoes, your cheese. Is that by buffalo mozzarella or regular mozzarella? I think it's regular mozzarella. So it's cow's milk. Well, we call mm -hmm. that the uh, uh, fior de latte. Mm -hmm. And then a little olive oil sprinkled mm -hmm. over the top. Salt to bring all those flavors together. Right. Mozzarella cheese tends to be less salty than other kinds, especially the fresher one because it's higher moisture. So a little salt is appropriate. All right. Okay, here comes the basil. Get a few more seconds in the oven before yeah. we go from caramel to carbon. Exactly. We like our we like our, our bread dark, so that pizza's not. That's more of the European style. We push it all the way. A little basil on the pizza for a few seconds. We'll let that wilt. Final bake. Mm -hmm. A little wilt, and then it's going to come out. Yeah. We've got drama now. We've got we've got a pizza here that is starting to caramelize. It's just it's got a nice little char on it. What do you think? The cheese is just melting. The bottom of the pizza pretty dark. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't even notice. Uh huh. That. So we see the cherry tomatoes have, have popped just like Eric promised. I saw that happen towards the very end of the bake. The basil's wilted. It's still bright green. Kind of moving around a little bit. This is what I call a rustic pizza. Right? For the for people who want to make everything look the same every single time, this is not the pizza for that. No. This is one where each one has its own identity, just like the loaves downstairs. That it's you like have. that wet dough that I was saying. Yeah, the wet dough is really the thing, and and a lot of the great pizzas that are being made around the country these days are being made on wet dough, yeah. and, and essentially a wet, sticky dough, almost like ciabatta dough. And here's the payoff: is that you get that the same kind of structures and textures that you would from a dough that makes ciabatta bread. For me, it's like a piece of like brittle, like uh, peanut brittle or toffee that has that crackle. You bite through it and it crackles and crumbles in your mouth. And then right underneath it, it's not, I mean, I won't say it's marshmallow, but it almost is like comparable to the toffee, this is like the marshmallow inside that's real soft and kind of dissolves in your mouth. And yet it's salty. <laughs> that, well, that's a savory marshmallow. What makes pizza so wonderful, I think, is that it's just dough with something on it. It's, it's good it's, bread with something on and, it. And, and when it's good bread, it elevates the whole piece.